Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be making these fun party favors. Um, they are basically single serving size Pringles cans. So they're the small ones. We're gonna keep the Pringles in there just so that we're not dealing with anything, you know, unsanitary. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to make these. Um, and there's so many different ways that you can, you can do this. So this one is the dome and it has uh, foam balls in it. Um, it's just regular cardstock and then um, fun like 3D-ish cardstock. So you can see we just added the foam layers to make it kind of pop out, right? This one has an actual name in it with stars standing up. I know it's kind of hard to see with the glare, but I have pictures on Instagram so you can always check that out and I can show you up here if that looks a little bit better. So, all right, first thing that you want to do is you need a hot glue gun, you want double-sided tape, and I think that's about it. So let's get started. So the Pringles can, the first thing that you want to do is you want to open it up because you want to tuck this little thing in so that it doesn't get in the way. I don't want to cut it off because, um, you know, if, if your guests are actually going to eat it, they kind of need that to pull it off. I've seen people cut it off, but I don't think it's necessary. You could just fold it in and then close this up. Now I've watched a lot of videos, did a lot of research. So this is my personal preference, okay? Um, actually, you wanna keep the lid off because what you wanna do is, I found that with the lid, um, it's actually what worked best for me was double-sided tape with, so all the pieces are up here. Um, you're gonna need a circle. So I did white glitter cardstock. We want to do double-sided tape onto the lid. I tried the hot glue gun and it worked, but if you pull on it at all, the whole piece of glue will come off the, the lid. So I didn't like that. Um, I also saw a couple of variations where people did a smaller um, circle and so it went right in the lid. And the, how I'm doing it is the circle's a little bit bigger than the lid, so that way the, the dome sits on top and then we're gonna hot glue gun the dome to the paper. So I felt like that was a really good uh, way for the glue to stick on. And then we're gonna have this like little ribbon thing hiding this piece right here. So let's do a couple of things. With a pair of scissors, you're actually gonna cut this off because these are fillable ornaments. So we don't need this. So all you do is surprisingly, the pair of scissors was the best thing. So. I'm just gonna cut it. So you kind of heard the crack. I'm not worried about it being sharp because we're gonna put, we're gonna hot glue gun this little band on top, okay? So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's do um, double-sided tape on this. So I actually have, um, I have double-sided tape like this. So I'm just gonna cut this up, but you can use, you know, however the tape that you have. Um, I also tried to do with just regular glue, but uh, it didn't dry very well with the lid. So this was my favorite way to get this down. And so far I've tried opening the lid, um, opening and closing it a few times to make sure that um, it stayed on. So I have that, right? I'm gonna put it onto my lid and the circle is bigger than the lid, so you know it's just gonna be a little bit a little bit over. And I think that's also really good because when we put the band on, the band is gonna get glue on paper and paper, and I feel like it just gets a better stick that way. Okay, so here's the lid, right? What we're gonna do next is now this is gonna be up to you what you want to put here. I have, this is just regular cardstock, so you could cut regular cardstock and do double-sided tape and put it down. This is a sticker label, so that one specifically um, has my daughter's picture on it, so it comes like this. This is print and cut, so it almost fits perfectly for this kind of project, so I felt like it wasn't very wasteful. <laughs> All right, so when you're putting this sticker down, um, because we have a band at the bottom and the top, I would put this, I would line this up more up to the top, okay? Because the bottom we have more room to work with. The top we have the lid, 
So I kind of, um, you know, if you put it all the way up to the top, right below the rim, it's perfect. So just put this down and go all the way around. And this is, you know, really easy to put down before I jinx myself. <laughs> So you see, I put it right underneath the rim. It's easy to stay, and that way you don't really see the orange. Um, we could cover it up with this rim, but the thing is, the way that I've been doing it is this rim sits above the lid because I want this lid right here, I want people to be able to touch the lid and pull it off and not mess with the actual um, decorative part right so if we hide this then your finger is pushing up on the band which i felt like wasn't as sturdy as pushing up on the lid which is what it was meant to to do right uh, its purpose is so that we can open and close so i want to make sure that when we put the band on the band sits above this rim so when you're opening it you're opening and your hand your fingers are touching the actual lid okay so that's that's also why i want you to go all the way up to the top because I don't want that band um, also having to cover any mistakes up here, all right? Okay, so we've got that down, we've got this down. This is pretty much done. You just put this on and, and you're done. So now we're gonna put this on top. If you don't wanna do the dome, you can actually just be just have this. So I'm gonna pull out my drink tray because it's gonna help me keep this down. <laughs> I already have my glue gun going, okay? So I have a thinner band on the bottom, which is what I prefer. Now on the bottom, I'm putting it so that it matches my, um, the, the silver tin, okay? So that means that the cardstock is sitting right on top. So they're both equal. So if, there's, if it's sitting down, if it's sitting down, both the rim and the cardstock are touching the bottom. So it's not causing um, any stress to the paper, if that makes any sense. So I line it up so that it matches the bottom. All you need to do is put a little bit of glue to start. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down. And that's enough to get your middle started. This is a super, super easy project, surprisingly. like. It's not hard to match things up. So that's the nice thing about this project. Okay, so that's down, right? So now I'm gonna start this way. I'm just gonna run the glue all the way around and do one side at a time. So here we go. I'm running it right above the um, the tin, the rim, rim, the rim tin, jeez. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this and move it along It dries pretty quickly and it's just, like I said, pretty easy to match up and to line, mat, line up. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, okay. Um, all right, so then I'm gonna do the rest of this. I'm gonna go all the way to the end. And all the dimensions are in the design space tutorial. So it has the measurements for the circle, for the, um, the band up on top and the band at the bottom. Okay, so this side is done. I'm gonna flip it over gently because you do have chips on the inside. Now I'm gonna do glue on this right here. So you see down here, the orange is showing a little bit because um, I want it to, fit inside the two silver tins because it's just easier that way. I don't want it to go all the way to the edge because you're gonna get that bubble because it's sticking up on top. So I want my sticker paper to be right below. I also wanna print out two of them. So that's kind of like how I figured out the dimensions. And then with the bands, they totally cover the orange of the, of the Pringles can. Okay, so go ahead and just run the glue over and then line this up and you can see it's pretty easy right and look at that it's so pretty okay and then this one's gonna go right to the edge like that so I'm just gonna run glue all the way over there 
Then I'm gonna put this down and hold it for a second for it to dry. See, it's pretty even, it's really, really easy to do. All right, so now that we have that, if you don't wanna do the dome, you could still do the fun stuff, right? Like I have these names ready to go. You don't need the, the dome to do a name or a decorative, I'm gonna find the stars up here. You could do this without the dome. I've seen lots of cute things without the dome. Um, actually, I have one that would be really cute. So like this is part of Tiana's like lily pad. I mean, I think that would be really cute up here if you had a Tiana theme going on. Um, so you don't need it, but I feel like if you're gonna do all this stuff, the dome just makes it really, really cool. <laughs> and the dome, you seal it, so whatever you put inside, people aren't gonna get to, so you can really do some fun things with that, like lots of glitter and confetti and stuff like that. Okay. So we've got that going on, right? So um, let's work with the first one. So I'm gonna prop it up standing up because um, I have the name Deacon. So I did it front and back and I glued them together already, but I also added these little uh, stands, if you wanna call it that. So it's gonna go like this. And because we're putting those foam balls on top, you're not even gonna see this part. So it's. It's really, I mean, just easy and fun. So I'm gonna put glue down here. And then I'm just gonna hold it for it to dry exactly like I want it to. And I just got glue on myself, but luckily I didn't burn myself. <laughs> so it's gonna look like this. And I did the off, I, it, it's not really an offset, but because um, the backside is glitter, so I did a reverse, you know, I mirrored it. So it had the white a little bit, and I shifted it so that you can have a little bit of an offset. So that was on purpose. Oh, this one, I didn't glue it on well enough, so let me put some more glue on here. I haven't had that problem, so you can kind of see on mine See, that one hasn't popped up. So I'm kind of surprised that I have this issue right now, but I should be good now. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put this back down and I already did one um, thing of stars. You can make anything that you want to. So like this one, I matched the Hello Kitty with the Hello Kitty bow on both sides. So it's kind of sticking, standing up. Um, these will all be the same because it has the name and then the stars because it's an American Girl doll theme. Um, all right, what's cool about this is because we are putting the foam balls down, I can put as much glue as I want to get this to stand up. So that's kind of cool. I realized, so I put a little bit of glue to get going, but I found that if you hold it just long enough for it to set and then you can add more glue here it actually stays up pretty well so let me try to get that going and i'm just gonna hold this for a, a couple seconds while it's drying And hopefully I am not wrong because I've done a few and it's held up pretty well so and I've been shaking it quite a bit just to test it so all right I'm gonna hold it while it sets I wish there was an easier way to do this so it's starting to set but the name is down solid and then we'll put the foam so um, the other thing that you need to do while we're waiting is um, a bounce sheet because these foam balls are super, super staticky. So I take the bounce sheet, like uh, I didn't do it on this one. So you can see the balls, they like, they stay, some of them stay stuck to the lid, which is fine. I mean, you're moving it around, 
but it's so staticky that it's funny. It stays up there. I think this is drying. I'm gonna hold it just a little bit longer. But this one, there aren't any up at the, oh, sorry. This one doesn't have any sticking to the lid. So I feel like that's pretty good. I'm just gonna add a little bit more glue just to make sure on the sides to really get this down. And I'm gonna let that stand for a few minutes before I drop the foam balls in. But you can kind of see that it's sticking up pretty well. So I'm gonna put that down for a second. Let's get the foam balls ready. So here's my little dome. Here's my foam, sh I mean my uh, bounce sheet. And I'm just gonna rub it like this. Okay, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let me see where, oh, here are my foam balls. So these are the foam balls. It's in the uh, slime making kit, um, but it's on my Amazon shop. So, and actually you can even see in here how staticky it is because look, these balls are just sticking to the, to the jar. Um, but okay, so I'm gonna undo this. I'm gonna put it in the one that we didn't, that we didn't rub. And let me, you can see how it's sticking, hold on. See, it sticks to the thing. Whereas if I do it on this one, see they all kind of move with it as opposed to staying stuck up here. You see how some of them are, some of them don't move. They're like on the rim, okay. All right, so this one is ready to go. I'm gonna put that in in a second after it, um, just wanna make sure it's, it's really set, it's still setting. So while it's setting, let's do the next one. So I'm just gonna do another one. Um, I'm gonna open this up, tuck this in, and then I'm going to do the sticker. So here's the sticker, I'm just gonna pull it off. It's print and cut, the needle, the, these are needle labels. Oh my gosh, it is so nice. It feels like professional stickers, I absolutely love it. Um, okay, so again, I'm going to kind of tilt it and I'm gonna go all the way up to the rim up at the top and then put it down and it's really, really easy to do. Okay, so that's down and then we're gonna do the rim. So I'm going to start in the middle and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right here to get going. I'm gonna put this down and I'm lining it up to the bottom so both the, the band and the tin will be touching the table. Okay, so that's down. I'm just gonna line this across with glue I don't want to put too much glue down or go too far ahead. I just want to be able to get it before it dries, make sure that it's good, go all the way over again. Oops. And then this one's going to be the end of this. So I'm just going to hold it down, make sure that my edge is good. Okay. Then I'm just going to flip it and I'm going to do this side. And the measurement goes band to band. So you see it doesn't overlap, it's perfect. Okay, so that's down. All right, let's get to this little guy. So this one with the foam balls, obviously you're gonna have to dump it like this. 
So you can see if it's too, too many foam balls, you have the option of going back and either, oops, dumping it back over and filling a little bit more or taking out some. So I'm actually gonna put just a little bit more in this one. And you see how it's still stuck on my lid? <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna pour just a little bit more. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna tilt it and put the lid on. Okay. So now my lid fits just inside of my circle. So I'm gonna run my glue gun right on the edge to seal my, my dome lid to my paper, okay? So. And I'm just kind of keeping pressure down so that I don't have any foam balls falling out. But you can see I'm just keeping one finger on it and gluing sections at a time. I'm just keeping a little bit of pressure on it so that it has time to set the glue. And then I'm just making my way all the way around. And I just wanna make sure that it sets, right? And that it keeps the dome on. And then I'm gonna put more glue on to put the band around. So this, you know, you're gonna have a couple of um, times to really seal it. I'm just gonna grab one more glue stick. All right, so here we go. And I'm almost at the edge, like a full circle. All right. And I don't wanna shake it too much because there's chips inside, but you can see, I mean, that's, it's so cute, right? I would have loved, I love it now. So like, um, I could totally understand why kids would still really like it. Okay, so I'm gonna put it down. It's glued. It's glued on, you can see it's standing up by itself. So for the top, I have a thicker band. And like I said, I wanna line it up so that I could still, you can see the lid, it's below the, um, the silver rim. So you, you can eyeball it here, but you can, I mean, you can really just see it. So I'm going to, like I did with the bottom one, I'm gonna do just a little bit of a glue dot here just so that my tab can stay up there. And you can just stick your finger too. You can see this is the lid right here. You can hear it. And then my purple ends up here. So that's partially, I mean, that was why I wanted the sticker to go all the way up to the edge of this so that you don't have to cover it with this. This is so, I still want to feel the lid and I still want that the lid to be how I open this. So, all right, I'm gonna just put glue down and I'm putting glue on the actual dome, the paper and the lid. I kind of want to seal it as much as I can. Um, and I'm, you know, I've had this for a few days now. And so I've been opening and testing and all of that. So I just want to make it as secure as possible. I mean, these are cute, fun gifts and people are meant to eat them. So it, they may pop off. I haven't had that problem yet. So, okay. So I'm gonna let that dry for a second, but you see how, I mean, so now I'm just gonna make sure that my glue is on both. So the paper kind of sticks out. So it's dome, paper, and then it's like a lip over the, over the lid. So I'm gonna put glue on top from the dome to the paper and then on the lid to the paper. So it's kind of, and then the paper is gonna have a little bit of leftover glue. So I'm just trying to make sure that this band is sealed on there. And I haven't had any leakage issues with any of these up here. So, all right, let's do this. Um, and I'm not gonna go so far with the glue because I don't want it to dry. So I'm doing a little section at a time and then I'm just peeking to make sure that my alignment is still good and I'm letting it dry. 
before I move on. So it's just staying on. It's so, so cute. So if you, um, if you're thinking about doing it, I definitely, I, it's, it's so cute and it doesn't have to be a birthday. It could just be things that you love, um, for your classroom, for your kids, nephews, nieces. I'm going to make some boy ones. Um, I'm just trying to get my daughter's birthday out of the way. All right. So let's continue moving down. And like I said, I really take my time with the glue part up here because I want to make sure that the seal is good. And I can feel the heat coming through, so. Right, I'm just gonna keep going. And I wanna make it easy for this thing. So I'm holding it down while it's drying so it's not popping up or anything and I'm not expecting it to glue down by itself. Okay, so I'm not gluing this edge just yet. I'm gonna wait till this comes through. This one goes on top. So actually, let's just glue it down. So I'm gonna put a little bit more glue in here And let's just make sure that this gets the pressure that it needs to make sure that it dries on there. And I can really feel the heat of the glue gun coming through, so. I don't know if this is a good angle for you to see the different layers. Um, okay, so that's dry. So now I'm going to come this way and have a lot of the glue drippings. <laughs> All right, so again, just make sure that you're putting enough glue on here. You're putting glue on the dome, the cardstock, and the lid. So I'm gonna keep my forefinger on it to make sure that it's getting the pressure so that it can dry. And then I'm gonna continue lining this up. Now I did make the band up here a lot thicker than the bottom band so that um, it covers a lot. There's a lot of room to catch the glue to you know stay on here. So there's a, a lot of a lot of thought that went into this so hopefully it works out let me please let me know what you think and if you um you know what you end up doing with your measurements all right so we're almost there i'm gonna glue a little bit more and i feel like the process can be a little bit faster once we really you know get to know um how well these work because so I'm making these for my daughter's party favors. So I will be able to talk to all of her friends' moms to see how well these lids stay on. I'm just being super careful right now. And I also want to show you. Um, but I, this is, I mean, prior to this, I researched it because someone reached out to me and showed me a link like, hey, someone's doing this. Do you know how to do it? So I tried to do a lot of research. So this is really my first uh, crack at it. Um, so I'm just, I know, I'm still kind of like, I feel like I'm still experimenting, but I wanted to get this out here for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna go all the way down. I didn't get all the way to the edge. I'm just gonna save that for a second. I want to make sure that this gets heated really well and then I'll glue this tab. So this top tab will go over the original, the beginning of the tab. All right, so now I'm gonna seal it off. And there you have it. It's so cute. Um, I, you know, because this is for my daughter and I thought she would get a kick out of seeing her face on there. <laughs> um, 
I think I prefer having something fun on here though. Like um, these balloons are layered, the cupcakes layered, so it's kind of popping out. It matches what's inside. So I think that's really cute as well. But I'm gonna be doing quite a few of these to see. Um, I wanna keep a few for myself too. All right, that's it. So I'm gonna flip these over so you could see. I mean, this goes all the way over and you see it, it looks really, really good. All right, so you have these and this one. This one I didn't know to put foam balls in it. I don't know what I was thinking. I should put confetti or something like that. All right, I will see you guys next time. Let me know. This was a special request that you know put me down a path of researching how to do this, where to go buy it. So all of it is sourced. You can go to my Amazon shop. It's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. It's party Pringles. Pringles party favors is the category and it has the dome, the foam balls. I mean, it's, it's, it's all of it. So you can do it completely. All right. Talk to you guys later. <laughs>